love the variety in my job. I don't think I'd even call it a job, really. My name's Fiona Watt, I'm a freelance sonographer, strength seated designer. I've been designing for about 20 years. So I design uh, set and costumes for conventional theatre spaces, um, but also work uh, site specifically responding to found spaces and uh, creating work with community groups starting from the design process and working outwards. I got interested in theatre design at school really, uh, didn't really know that such a job existed until I had an art teacher who had been a theatre designer and that kind of, it was a sort of penny dropped moment in that I could combine English and history and art and maths and all of those things together in that career. I think the profession has changed a lot actually, though theatre is still, there's still a, a kind of ethos of the show must go on, I don't think it's quite the same kind of level of, uh, well you must kind of commit yourself to 12 hours a day, 15 hours a day, 20 hours a day until you fall over to get the thing happening. There's a much stronger sense of childcare policy and all of that in the theatres that I've um, worked in and I think it's very much these days thinking about c cutting your cloth according to your circumstances really and it's more, from my uh, perspective it's much more accepted that uh, women may take time out to look after their children etc uh, and come back into their careers than perhaps it would have been years ago. Um, I think it's still male dominated at the top um, and I don't really know how that will change but I think there are more and more women coming through who um, have a kind of authority and an interest. And one of the most uh, well-regarded designers in the country now is a woman called Esther Ben, who uh, designed for Complicite, but also designs uh, massive tours for Take That, Lady Gaga, etc., um, and has small children. So she is proving that it's possible to do both and not go mad really important to have a combination of practical experience and training. There's not much training now that isn't a degree or an MA, um, so that's a commitment really uh, if you're thinking of going down that route. Um, but it has to be a combination of the two things because if it, training is really, really useful and you, so I, I don't think you can juggle and manage a design career properly. Uh, without having that training but you almost have to have some experience of making theatre be that in an amateur or community capacity or whatever first before you go and do that training in order to really understand what it is that you're training for um, because we're still a very practical labour intensive um, community of people within theatre really um, and so all the training in the world has no relevance really until you're practically out doing it and and actually learning to manage your own time and knowing what rhythm uh, works for you in terms of using your time so as a designer you can go from being very isolated in your studio working meetings with a director and then suddenly you're in this huge company of people um, that you may never have met before and then you're going immediately after press night back to that situation of working in your studio in quite a solitary way again. So managing your process as much as the work itself um, only really comes by doing it, I think. What don't you like is quite tricky really because what don't you like is often what you like as well. <laughs> and sometimes you go, why am I still doing this? Because this is impossible. Um, I don't like the fact that we are still fighting to, um, I suppose, get decent terms and conditions in terms of fees, 
circumstances etc some theatres are very very good at that but as we've moved out of theatres uh, there's almost a whole training process has to go on in terms of understanding uh, the needs of designers and also the the actual physical amount of work that is involved in creating a show so sometimes it gets a little bit frustrating that you still have to raise those things even now after working in the profession for a long time. Um, I think what's exciting about theatre today is the boundaries between uh, the different fields of practice within theatre are really blurring so now I would very much consider myself a um, co-collaborator with the director rather than a director providing me with a brief that I then respond to we're constantly feeding off one another um, and I think it's very exciting that theatre's not just based in buildings anymore there are some great buildings that we can make work in but the fact that we're also using um, site specific found spaces much more and responding to what that space is be that historically or spatially um, I find that really 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 exciting I love the variety in my job. I don't think I'd even call it a job, really, which is interesting, but um, I love that it's different every time. Even if you were to do the same piece, like a Shakespeare or whatever, it will be absolutely different every time, according to the building and the performers, etc. And there's very, it's very rarely that you can go, oh, I solved that problem that way before, so I can just solve it that way again. Um, the circumstances are always, always, always different, and the demands of the way the show's been made are always different, and I like that challenge in a masochistic sort of way. <laughs>